Lake Tanganyika, a name that echoes with a sense of vastness, of mystery, of an untamed wilderness. This is no ordinary lake. It is a giant among giants, stretching over 400 miles long. That's longer than the entire country of England. Its depths plunge almost 5,000 feet, a realm of perpetual twilight holding secrets yet to be fully explored. These waters are not merely impressive in scale. They are teeming with life, much of it found nowhere else on Earth. Lake Tanganyika is a treasure trove of biodiversity, a living testament to the power of evolution. It is a place where nature's grandeur unfolds on an epic scale, captivating all who are fortunate enough to witness it. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Our journey begins in the heart of Africa, where the Earth itself bears witness to powerful forces. Lake Tanganyika rests within the Western Rift Valley, a colossal fracture in the Earth's crust. This geological marvel stretches thousands of miles from the Red Sea all the way down to Mozambique. The lake forms a natural border, its shores shared by four African nations, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, and Zambia. For centuries, these countries have relied on the lake's bounty, their cultures intertwined with its fate. The people here are bound to the lake, just as the lake is bound to the ancient forces that shaped it. The depths of Lake Tanganyika hold more than just darkness. They are a hidden world teeming with life, a vibrant ecosystem that has evolved over millions of years. This ancient lake, one of the oldest and deepest in the world, is a sanctuary for a myriad of species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. The lake's unique conditions have allowed for the evolution of species that are perfectly adapted to their environment, creating a biodiversity hotspot that is unparalleled. The clear waters and stable temperatures provide an ideal setting for the study of evolutionary processes, offering scientists a glimpse into the mechanisms that drive biodiversity. It is home to over 2,000 species of fish, a dazzling spectacle of colors and adaptations. These fish exhibit a range of behaviors and physical traits that are a direct result of the lake's unique environment. Among them are the seachlids, a family of fish renowned for their remarkable diversity. These fish are a prime example of adaptive radiation, where a single ancestral species diversifies into a multitude of forms to exploit different ecological niches. Over 200 species of cichlids call Lake Tanganyika home, each uniquely adapted to its niche in this underwater world. Some graze on algae, others hunt insects, and some have even evolved to feed on the scales of other fish, a behavior known as lepidophagy. And still others have developed specialized diets of snails. This incredible dietary diversity is a testament to the adaptability and resilience of these fish. This behavior, while seemingly bizarre, is a fascinating example of how species can evolve to exploit available resources in their environment. This incredible array of life is a testament to the lake's age and stability, providing the perfect conditions for evolution to work its magic over millennia. The stability of Lake Tanganyika has allowed for the uninterrupted evolution of species, resulting in a rich tapestry of life that continues to captivate scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. The lifeblood of Lake Tanganyika flows from the heart of Africa. Numerous rivers, large and small, weave their way through the landscape, carrying precious fresh water into the lake. The Malagarasi River, the longest river entirely within Tanzania, is a major tributary, its waters vital to sustaining the lake's ecosystem. The Ruzizi River, flowing from Lake Kivu to the north, carries with it the weight of history, its waters a lifeline for communities along its banks. And then there's the Kalambo River, cascading dramatically from the surrounding highlands, its waters oxygenating the lake and supporting a rich diversity of life. These rivers and countless smaller streams are the arteries of the lake, their health inextricably linked to the well-being of Tanganyika itself. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. For generations, the people of Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, and Zambia have lived in harmony with Lake Tanganyika. The lake provides sustenance, its waters teeming with fish that have fed families for centuries. Fishing is a way of life here, a vital source of income and food security for millions. The fertile lands surrounding the lake provide sustenance as well. Farmers cultivate rice paddies and grow a variety of crops, their livelihoods intrinsically connected to the rhythm of the seasons. The lake's presence ensures a more temperate climate, making agriculture possible in this part of Africa. Lake Tanganyika is more than just a body of water. It is the heart of a region, sustaining both nature and humankind. Section 6. The Net Titans. 
Yet this delicate balance, this age-old harmony, is under threat. Lake Tanganyika, one of the oldest and deepest lakes in the world, has been a cradle of life for centuries. Its waters have nurtured countless species, providing sustenance and livelihoods for millions of people living along its shores. The very lifeblood of Lake Tanganyika, its once abundant fish stocks, are dwindling at an alarming rate. Fishermen who once returned with bountiful catches now find their nets increasingly barren. The decline is not just a statistic, it is a daily reality that threatens the food security and economic stability of entire communities. Overfishing, driven by a growing population and increasing demand, is taking its toll. The pressure to meet the needs of expanding communities has led to unsustainable fishing practices. Traditional methods that once ensured a balance between human needs and nature's capacity are being overshadowed by the relentless pursuit of more. The nets cast today are often coming up empty, a stark reminder of the fragility of this precious resource. Each empty net is a symbol of the growing crisis, a silent cry for help from the depths of the lake. Climate change, that global threat, casts a long shadow over Lake Tanganyika. The lake's ecosystem, finely tuned over millennia, is being thrown into disarray. The once predictable patterns of weather are now erratic, adding another layer of uncertainty to the lives of those who depend on the lake. Rising water temperatures disrupt the delicate balance of the lake's ecosystem. Species that have thrived in these waters for generations are now struggling to survive. The warming waters affect breeding cycles, food availability, and the overall health of the aquatic environment. Rainfall patterns are changing, leading to unpredictable floods and droughts, further impacting the livelihoods of those who depend on the lake. Villages that once flourished by the water's edge now face the dual threats of flooding and water scarcity, making survival increasingly precarious. This is a story repeating itself across the globe, a stark reminder that the consequences of our actions reach even the most remote corners of the planet. From the Amazon to the Arctic, the impact of human activity and climate change is felt far and wide, urging us to rethink our relationship with nature before it's too late. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 7, A Lifeline for Tanganyika. In the face of these challenges, there is hope. A new initiative led by the United Nations Environment Program and funded by the Global Environment Facility offers a beacon of hope for Lake Tanganyika. This ambitious project, launched in February 2025, brings together the four countries that share the lake in a collaborative effort to safeguard its future. This five-year, $14.5 million initiative aims to tackle the root causes of the lake's decline. It focuses on promoting sustainable fishing practices, ensuring that fish stocks are replenished for generations to come. The project also addresses the pressing issue of land degradation, working to reduce pollution and protect the lake's fragile ecosystem. A Section 8. Safeguarding Our Future At the heart of this initiative lies a fundamental truth. The fate of Lake Tanganyika is intertwined with the fate of its people. By empowering local communities, we are not just giving them a voice, but also the means to protect their heritage. This initiative is about more than just conservation, it's about creating a sustainable future where both the environment and the people can thrive together. Providing them with the tools and knowledge to manage their resources sustainably is crucial. These workshops on sustainable fishing practices and modern farming techniques are designed to equip the community with the skills they need to make a lasting impact. The project aims to create a brighter future for both people and nature. By fostering a harmonious interaction between the community and their natural surroundings, we are laying the groundwork for a resilient ecosystem. Education plays a vital role. It is through education that we can instill a sense of responsibility and stewardship in the younger generations. By teaching younger generations about the importance of conservation, we are ensuring that the values of sustainability and respect for nature are passed down. By instilling in them a sense of stewardship for this incredible lake, we are nurturing future guardians of this precious ecosystem. We can ensure that Lake Tanganyika continues to thrive for centuries to come. The lake, with its rich biodiversity and cultural significance, is a treasure that must be preserved. This is not just about saving a lake, it is about safeguarding a way of life. The sustainable practices adopted by the community are a testament to their commitment to preserving their environment. Preserving a natural wonder for generations yet to be born is a responsibility we all share. By working together, we can ensure that the beauty and bounty of Lake Tanganyika remain untouched for future generations to enjoy. Section 9. A Plea for the Lake 
Lake Tanganyika is more than just a lake. It is a lifeline for millions, a cradle of biodiversity, a natural wonder that has captivated explorers and scientists for centuries. But its future is uncertain. The challenges are real, the threats pressing. The time to act is now. We must all play our part in ensuring that this African jewel continues to shimmer, support the conservation efforts, raise awareness about the plight of the lake, and make responsible choices in our own lives. The fate of Lake Tanganyika, like the fate of so many of our planet's treasures, rests in our hands. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia to support our mission.